Hey, this is Presh Walker. A rectangle has dimensions of 15 centimeters and 6 centimeters. Construct the diagonal of the rectangle and construct the following horizontal and vertical lengths. Suppose this upper triangle has an area of 16 square centimeters and this lower triangle has an area of 4 square centimeters. Then shade this rectangle. The question is what is the area of the rectangle? This was an actual question in a 2005 exam in Singapore, the PSLE, and it was question 13. While it seems like a simple question, it's actually impossible to solve. Can you figure out why? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So first, let me go over the intended solution. Consider this right triangle over here. It's exactly congruent to the right triangle that's above it because we have a rectangle that's divided by its diagonal, which will split the rectangle into two equal triangles. So this triangle has an area that's equal to 16 square centimeters. Let's say the rectangle has an area that's equal to R. So now let's focus on half of the big rectangle. What is the area of this triangle? It will be equal to 16 plus 4 plus r, but it will also be equal to half the area of the entire rectangle, so it will also be equal to 15 times 16 divided by 2. So let's just focus on this equation. We have 20 plus r is equal to 45, and that means r is equal to 25 square centimeters. And that's the answer. Or is it? Let's take a look at the problem again. I actually approach it in a different way. Let's say the rectangle has dimensions that are x and y. Let's calculate some of the other dimensions in this figure. This length will be x, then here we have 6 minus y. This length will be 15 minus x, and this height will be equal to y. So let's calculate the areas of these triangles in terms of x and y. In this upper triangle, we will have x multiplied by 6 minus y all over 2 is equal to 16. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to get x multiplied by 6 minus y is equal to 32. The other triangle has dimensions of y and 15 minus x, so we have y multiplied by 15 minus x all over 2 is equal to 4. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 2, we get y multiplied by 15 minus x is equal to 8. Now there's one more thing to notice. These two angles are equal to each other because they're vertical angles. Then these two angles will be equal to each other because they're alternate interior angles because opposite sides of a rectangle are parallel to each other. So these two triangles are similar to each other. What does that mean? That means their lengths will be in the same ratio. So x divided by 6 minus y is equal to 15 minus x divided by y. We can cross multiply to get x multiplied by y is equal to 6 minus y multiplied by 15 minus x. So now let's just focus on the equations. Let's multiply the two equations on the right hand side. We get xy multiplied by 6 minus x multiplied by 15 minus x is equal to 32 times 8. But we know that 6 minus y multiplied by 15 minus x is equal to xy, so we can substitute in xy. We now have the square of xy is equal to 256. Taking just the positive value, we get xy is equal to 16 square centimeters. But xy was exactly what the area of the rectangle is supposed to be. So we've come up with a different answer. Is it 16 square centimeters or 25 square centimeters? So obviously something is wrong with the given information. So what exactly is going on? Let's try to salvage the problem. This upper triangle is similar to the entire half of the rectangle, so its ratio of sides must be the same as the ratio of sides of half the rectangle. So we have x divided by 6 minus y is equal to 15 over 6. Now, suppose this upper triangle has an area of 16 square centimeters. So we have x multiplied by 6 minus y is equal to 32. From the first equation, we can solve for 6 minus y, and then we substitute it into the second equation. We can then solve for the positive value of x to get that x is equal to 4 root 5. We can then solve for y, 
From there, we can figure out the area of the lower triangle, and that will be approximately 7.33 square centimeters, which then means the area of this rectangle will approximately be 21.67. So that would be the way to solve the problem. To its credit, the examination board did admit its mistake and did give all students full marks. But this problem teaches a larger point. A good student can figure out a problem from the given information, but a great student can see whether the given information makes any sense. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.